as we begin to think about angles in all the quadrants, we want to differentiate between the angles we think of in geometry and angles we think of in algebra when we're placing them on the coordinate grid or the Cartesian grid. So in geometry, our vertex can really be anywhere. And from our vertex, our rays can point out any direction. So we can arbitrarily define our theta and our two arms or sides of our angle. But when we think about it on a coordinate grid, then we're much more intentional. We always put the vertex at the origin, and then our initial side is always along the x-axis. Then we draw our angle, and we have a terminal side where we say that the angle ends. So if we start from the x-axis and move in the what we define as the positive direction for angles, then we move towards or past the y-axis. So going counterclockwise is how we define a positive angle. If we're going to define a negative angle, we still start with our initial arm on the x-axis, and then we go clockwise or down towards the negative y-axis, down or past, and there our theta or our alpha, whatever we choose to call our angle, is defined to be negative.